Jalapeno poppers, one of the best tailgate snacks out there, but they're a real pain in the butt to make. Today we're going to make a deconstructed jalapeno popper dip. You avoid all the wrapping and the cutting and the stuffing, you throw it all in one, everyone can dip in and eat till their heart's content. It's my absolute favorite tailgate snack. Let's get started. We're going to brown up some sausage. We're doing all this on the Hasty Bait Charcoal Grill today. We're going to grill off the sausage in an aluminum pan. We're going to smoke off that dip. We're going to plate the whole thing up, but we got to start with that grilled sausage. Anything that you like in the sausage category works for this. Hot Italian sausage, sweet Italian sausage, breakfast sausage. I just like that high fat content because it adds to that dip. We're going two pounds of your favorite sausage. I just like to break it up a little bit in the pan. It cooks a lot quicker that way. If you wanted to, if you're at your house and you wanted to brown this up on the stove, you could absolutely do that as well. We got the grill out with us at the BAMQ headquarters today, so we're going to do everything right over the fire. Going to get this on the Hasty Bake Grill. We're putting this directly over the fire. We got the grill in the bake position, shooting for about 350 to 400 degrees at the grill temp. That's going to get this sausage nice and brown real quick. All right, while the sausage is going, we're going to go ahead and get our bacon diced up because that's got to go on the grill. The only thing we're doing when we actually melt all that dip is just bringing all those ingredients together. I like to use shears when I cut bacon. I can just get a lot more cut in a lot quicker time than using a knife. And I actually enjoy doing this kind of non-uniform. Some pieces are going to be bigger, some pieces are going to be smaller. It's kind of the fun of what you get when you dip your piece in. So I prefer it to be a little non-uniform. I always use regular cut bacon, not thick cut bacon when I do this. The thick cut takes a little bit too long to cook and it produces too much fat. This whole dip is very fatty with cream cheese and extra cheese and sausage and bacon in it. I don't need any extra fat in it. So I just use the thin cut bacon. It crisps up really nice, adds a nice little pop of texture to that dish. All right, we got our bacon nice and spaced out on the pan going on that fire. Our sausage is actually starting to come into a boil in the fat, which is even better. We're getting real close to being able to build this thing. I'm going to go ahead and stir this sausage while we're here. Get it cooking real evenly. When you're cooking fatty things on a grill, you got to be careful not to fling that grease too much, especially when you're cooking over live fire like charcoal on a hasty bake. That is a surefire way to have a grease fire, so just be careful, move slow with it. The beautiful thing about a Hasty Bake is because it's a convection cooker, it'll still hold its heat when we close the lid. We'll also pick up all that awesome smoke we're getting from that B&B lump coal. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta get this cream cheese in the pan, we gotta get these jalapenos diced up. The bacon and sausage are both looking great. I top both of them with a Hasty Bake rub and spice. It's an awesome all-purpose barbecue seasoning. It's got a little bit of smoke, a little bit of sugar. We'll put some in this dip as well, but I like putting it on the meat, let it bind to it. We're gonna go ahead and unpackage this cream cheese. Nothing crazy on here, just the old dumperoo. If anyone has any suggestions of how to actually unpackage cream cheese where you don't make a complete mess, go ahead and leave that in the comments. I'm just going to break this cream cheese up a little bit. It'll melt a lot faster that way. If you've never smoked cream cheese on its own, that's another recipe we'll save for another day, but it is a wonderful treat. You season it up, toss it on the grill, get it nice and melty. That on its own is a great dip, but we're going to take that thing up to 11 here. All right, that's melted up. Before we dice up our jalapenos, I want to go ahead and season this up. I'm using two of my absolute favorite things when I make dip. I'm going to use the old Hidden Valley Ranch packet. Just adds a really cool flavor. I mean, everyone likes ranch dressing, right? You don't need the whole thing, but use about half a packet in there. When this melts together and we stir it up, it's going to be good. And then my absolute new favorite, barbecue Butter Bomb. They're not paying me to say this. This stuff is just great. It melts like real butter. If you were to put this on a skillet, turn the heat on, it's going to melt like 
like it's just a pat of butter. That's why it's going to be so good in here. Again, we didn't say this thing was low fat. Go ahead and season that up. And then last but definitely not least, a little bit more of that hasty bake rub and spice. Now we dice. Start by taking the caps off all these jalapenos. Now, if you like all that extra spice from jalapeno, you can definitely leave all the seeds in there. I recommend still maybe taking a few of them out. It's gonna be real spicy if you don't take some of them out. You can also kind of customize this to your heart's content. So if you don't like a lot of spice, just put a few jalapenos in there. If you really like a lot of spice, double, triple it up. Again, this is a deconstructed jalapeno popper dip though. So we do want a heavy presence of jalapeno in it. We're gonna go ahead and de-seed these jalapenos now. You can leave in as many seeds as you want, but this is where the heat comes from. I like to use a spoon, you just get rid of that pith and the seeds on the inside. After you get the seeds out, you gotta wash your hands real good and make sure you don't have any seeds hiding out anywhere because they will find their way right into your eye or worse places. Also check your floor. I've had of these fall on the floor and the dog will have quite a heyday when they come finding those seeds. After you de seeded, we're gonna go ahead and get these things diced up. Dice them up to your heart's content. You wanna keep big, you wanna keep them small, it doesn't matter. It's all about the eating experience at the very end. Do you want a lot of jalapeno or just a little in every bite? I kinda go for a medium dice. Dice these up just a little bit finer now. All together, there's about three quarters of a cup of jalapenos that I'm gonna put into a half size steam pan with four blocks of cream cheese. That balance should be about right if you kinda of just want like a medium heat. Again, add whatever you like. You like it hotter, some like it hotter. Go ahead and pile that in there. One more thing to do. We're gonna go ahead and add good old mild cheddar. Now, I like to fresh grade all my cheddar. You can buy grated cheddar at the store, but when you buy stuff from the store, that cheddar that they have, in order to keep it from clumping up, they put things like potato starch in it, which it's gonna eat fine, but it always kind of has that dry starchy feel. When you have fresh grated cheddar, it melts better, it's smoother, it's a better mouthfeel, it's just a better product all the way around. So do the extra 10 minutes of work and grade your cheddar. I got about two pounds of cheddar right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and top this with it. I like to try to make sure the cheddar is on top of stuff that's in there, not just sitting in the bottom of the pan, because if it's in the bottom of the pan, it's gonna to tend to burn. When it sits on top of the cream cheese and the other ingredients, it kind of tends to all melt at the same time, be real nice and even. That's about a pound in there right now, but we got some other tailgate recipes, so this is not gonna to go to waste. This right here is gonna go back on our Hasty Bake Grill. We're gonna get a nice melty smoky on it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the sausage off. It's definitely done. I still want my bacon to get a little bit more in there because that bacon needs to get crispy. If it's not crispy, it's just gonna be a little chewy in the dip. So we're gonna leave this on and I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave the lid open to get a lot of heat. That's gonna crisp that bacon up a lot faster. We gotta get the sausage and the bacon put in here. We're gonna get it on the Hasty Bake Grill to absorb that smoke, get everything nice and melty. Now remember, because there's so much fat in here, you wanna drain off that meat. So if you have a slotted spoon, I don't, but that's fine. Just kinda of pick it up at an angle. Try to get some of that fat squeezed out before you throw it in. So this is about one pound of bacon cut up. And we'll probably end up using about a pound of that sausage we browned. That's gonna do it. We're just kinda gonna do a rough chop on here, try to get everything mixed up. Again, the finer it is, the more that cream cheese is broken up, the more those peppers are dispersed, the easier and quicker this is gonna cook on the grill. The beautiful thing about this dip is this dip feeds about eh, probably 20 to 25 people on your game day tailgate. 
And if you were to make enough jalapeno poppers for 20 to 25 people, you'd probably be spending two or three hours piling and cutting and wrapping and doing all that. So this right here took us about 10 minutes to put together and people are gonna go absolutely nuts over it. Let's get it on the grill. Shooting for about 300 to 350 degrees on this, just until everything is melted and all comes together. And just like that, it's done. We stirred this thing up a few times just to make sure everything kind of got real integrated, got some beautiful color on it, picked up some great hasty baked smoke from that b, b charcoal, and I'm ready to dig in. But here's the problem. If you're at a tailgate, you got buddies around with you. I'm kind of alone, so I got to find somebody to come hang out with me. Hey, Bruce. Hey, hey good. How you doing, man? Hey, Bruce from HeyBruceBarbecue.com. Hey, guys. Did you see how I made this? I did. Cream I cheese, was, uh, yeah. cheddar cheese, sausage, bacon, jalapeno. It's pretty much the entire food pyramid of stuff <laughs> you should not be eating, but you want at a tailgate, right? You know what I like about it, and I kind of heard uh, your intro earlier, was it's everything we love about that jalapeno popper. Absolutely. But in a, in a easy to do tailgate form, and what I also like about it is I was watching you do this, is you could do this ahead of time and take it with you. Just take it out of the cooler in your pan, throw it on your charcoal. 100%. It's gonna be 100%, awesome. yeah. Pre-pan it, get awesome. it in the refrigerator the day before, bring it to the tailgate, heat it up over charcoal. I've also presented this before by just spooning these into these little scoop cups. Yeah. And you can kind of put that out on a plate. But, That's a good idea. But I think we ought to uh, dig in. You want to try one of these? Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna do a little chip right here. Do it. I can see that, that barbecue butter kind of sitting on top. Oh yeah, melts on the top. Oh, it smells so good. It's all there. I can taste every bit of it. Mmm. All the flavor you want from a jalapeno popper, a lot easier way to eat. Oh I'm, yeah. I'm probably gonna eat more of it that way too. I was gonna say, I got some buddies that we could probably do three times the number of jalapenos in that and they'd be happy with it. Absolutely. You yeah. can fine tune that to your taste, but you want it spicy, whether you want it not spicy, kids, whatever it is, a lot of different ways you can present it. But this is a favorite at my tailgates. We do this all the time. Hope you guys start picking it up. I think we will. This is awesome. Tastes great. Easy to put together too. Absolutely. Real easy. Not a lot of knife work involved, which is nice. Yeah. Guys, thanks for being here. Hope you tried this at your next tailgate. Stay tuned. We got more of these for you.